Welcome back everybody. I wanted to follow up on the last video and a comment that was made. I felt that it was important enough to a short video on it and talk about it a bit. So in the last video I talked about how <laughs> losing a narcissist is not a loss and that someone better will come along. And someone was quick to point out, I'm, I'm grateful that this person did this, commented and saying, why does there have to be somebody else? Why does, you know, why is the goal to have someone else in your life? Why not be okay being alone? For those people who want to have a partner in their life, who want to have someone to share their life with, to share experiences with, and to share their time with, I will tell you that just about anybody is better than a narcissist, so someone better will absolutely come along. I have no doubt about that. And whether that person fills your life as um, a, a love interest or simply a friend, a companion, somebody to just hang out with, you will encounter that person because you're no longer shackled to someone who's negative and, and controlling and dominating your time. Because obviously we feel like we have to devote every single waking moment to these people because they are so needy. People being a narcissist is what I'm getting at. Yes, I absolutely agree that there's nothing wrong with being alone. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable with being alone and just being by yourself. John was always in my life from the time I left the narcissist. For those of you who've seen my videos, you know the whole story and the history there. But because he is a pilot and he is gone days at a time, I was alone. Maybe it was just days, it wasn't on a permanent basis the way someone um, else would be if they were discarded by a narcissist or left a narcissist like I did in my case. But those alone times when you are healing, the minutes feel like hours, hours feel like days, days feel like weeks, you get the idea. It's uncomfortable and it's unsettling because you're coming out of that, you are in that process of healing and you are being bombarded with negative thoughts, you're being bombarded with all the garbage, just nothing but garbage, all the garbage that's there, that's been there, that is still there, that you have yet to purge. So it's difficult, it's, it's really difficult. Being alone is a difficult thing when you are in that healing stage, uh, but I can assure you it gets easier. You fill your time with things that you enjoy. That's why I talk about finding hobbies, find out what you like, find out what, you know, what were you not doing when you were with the narcissist because you were too busy doing backbends, keeping them happy. Uh, you need to pursue those things. I filled my time, I, you know, picked up hobbies. I still do things that I did back then. I still enjoy them now, you know, writing, music, painting, whatever. Everybody is going to find something different to fill that gap and keep themselves busy. You've got to occupy your time and your mind. Otherwise, you will go crazy. You've got to find a way to offset the negative thoughts. They're gonna happen. You're gonna learn to combat them, hopefully. As I always say, you are seeing somebody, a counselor, a therapist, someone from your church, whatever, you've got to seek help in this. You can't do it alone. I, I don't recommend that at all. I always tell everybody, the first thing I ask is, are you seeing somebody? Are you talking to a professional? That is critical in getting over this, in, in getting working through it and getting past it. It is absolutely critical. I did that f from the minute I left um, for you know, at least I don't know how many years I was seeing somebody on a weekly basis and sometimes more often than that I would go and talk to her. That helped. That was a tremendous help. I couldn't have done it without her. But you definitely need that because the negative thoughts are so overwhelming. I, I remember when I first came out of this and, and I've probably mentioned this in other videos, you know, I didn't recognize myself. I simply did not recognize myself and I hit a point where it was just like all of a sudden I would look in the mirror and I didn't hear negative voices. I didn't, from the time I left, I was so attuned to looking at myself in the mirror and picking myself apart, just focusing on all the things that I thought were wrong with me. And turns out there was nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Those were just the narcissist voices coming at me, rapid fire, making me believe that I had all this fixing to do, that I had all of these issues and that I had all of these flaws. And finally, one day I looked in the mirror and I didn't hear those voices anymore. 
and I was astonished and I remember running and going and making a video about it and I don't remember which video it was I'm sorry I, I, I don't I can't reference it right off the top of my head but it was so freeing that time alone allows you to reflect it allows it allows you to start clearing your mind and say you know what I'm really not that bad that <laughs> it's it really is them it's not me you know the whole it's not me it's you thing you know that's kind of where that all came from for me because I realized I wasn't the one with the problem but it took therapy it took being away from all of the toxic people it took alone time it took thinking about myself and really asking myself am I was, was I really that bad no, you know, we do question ourselves. I get that, I've been there, I understand it. You will reach a point where you look at yourself and you're like, hey, this is all right, you know, I am not so bad. Because the voices are gone. All that negativity is gone. You, you, you don't, it's not the go-to anymore. The go-to is, wow, I'm away from them. Wow, I feel good. I'm sleeping better. I feel better. I look better. I am better. And it and it's just it's just this snowballing effect of being positive and feeling good. And it's amazing. So I I I just want everybody out there to know that you do heal. It does get better. It does get easier. And no, you don't have to heal for someone else. You don't have to leave someone toxic to be with another person. You can just be. Don't be alone if if you're struggling. But there's nothing wrong with being alone. There's nothing wrong with protecting your time, protecting your space, and being on your own and enjoying that. I miss John like crazy when he's gone. I, I, I wish he didn't have to work at all. I wish he could be home with me all the time. But I'm okay being alone. I, I'm, I'm totally fine being alone. I have friends. I go out. I do things. They come here. Whatever. But I'm okay with it now. It's not unsettling anymore. I don't spend my alone time beating myself up or thinking of awful things or criticizing myself or wondering why I'm not better. It just takes time. Happy healing, everybody. Don't do it alone. Find yourself somebody great to talk to. Find the support that you need. Figure out what you want once you're away from someone who's toxic, someone who has manipulated you and controlled you and made you think you're someone you're not. Ciao for now.